In this lecture, let's learn LRU mechanism for set associative mapping. Set associative mapping. In this, let's learn LRU policy. Most of the gate questions are from LRU. Therefore, I'm focusing on LRU. So for this, again, let's take the previous example itself. So this will become set associative. And let's assume it is a two-way set associative. And the policy we are using is LRU. All right. Now, because it is two-way, we need to segregate the cache into sets, each of size two. So we'll have set zero, then set one. And we already know in set associative mapping, set number follows direct mapping. So we can find set number as block number modulus number of sets so this is block number percentile 2 so whenever you take a modulus of 2 it segregates the numbers into two categories one is even other one is odd so set 0 will hold all the even numbers and set 1 will hold all the odd numbers all right now let's fill the cache first is 5 5 will go to set 1 in that the first line is line 2 then we have 4 4 will be to set 0 and line 0 then we have 6 then 3 then 4 now 4 is available therefore this is a hit now because it has been accessed let's move it to the right then we have 0 not available therefore move cross therefore we replace 6 with 0 then 2 then 5 5 is available therefore this is a hit now because it is accessed let's move it to the right then we have 3 3 is again available it's a hit now let's move it to the right then 0 0 is available it's a hit let's move it to the right then 6 then 7 11 3 5 i hope you are able to make out whenever odd numbers are coming i'm writing in set 1 whenever even numbers are coming i'm writing in the set 0 and i'm trying to cancel out the priority 1 list then list 2 then list 3 and so on now at the end of this sequence the cache has 6 0 3 and 5 all right in this the hit ratio is number of hits are 4 upon 15 okay with this let's do one gate question it is a question asked in gate 2004 consider a small two-way set associative cache memory consisting of four blocks for choosing the block to be replaced use the lru that is least recently used scheme the number of cache misses for the following sequence of and there are some requests okay for this let's write the memory request first let me also draw the diagram so this is the cache with four blocks that's what they mentioned in the question then they said it is a two-way cache therefore we need to segregate the cache into sets each of size 2 so let me do that this will be set 0 this will be set 1 we already know when we have only two sets 0 will hold all the even numbers and 1 will hold all the odd numbers that is because the set number is block number modulus 2 now let's fill the cache with the following memory requests the first is 8 so 8 will be placed over here because it is not there initially this is a mess then we have 12 again a mess then 0 0 will be placed in line 0 again a mess then 12 12 is available therefore this is a hit and because it has been accessed let me move it to the right then we have 8 again a mess in the question we are asked to calculate the number of cache misses so let's count them 1 2 3 4 there are four cache misses that is option c